Uh, next up, holy smokes, this guy has got a show business resume. Let me tell you all about it. Uh, he's from Welland. He's a father of two boys, and he likes to ride his bike. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Wilson Bateman! Now you can tell that I'm not on my bike that often, uh, but I do appreciate that to do what I do. And I just want to say, I always, I always want to say this, hello Toronto! I just always want to say, hello Toronto! Yeah, I just always want to say that, and that's probably the reason I took this course. And I don't know, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm kind of the old guy on the course. Like when I'm talking to a lot of the folks here, I'm kind of the old guy, so they look to me for a little advice. But I got to tell you, right off the bat when I come in here, like being the old guy, I don't know about you folks out there, but... I like to consume a little bit of alcohol. Now, usually before I ride my bike, it's usually a good time. I don't know if anybody else knows that, but if you see me out there, I'm kind of swerving a little bit. But I gotta tell you, when I came here now, I was thinking, you know, this place is named after my favorite vodka. You know what I'm saying? First thing, though, it makes you pee a lot, doesn't it? That's what I thought, yeah. So I won't, we won't get into that. But anyway, I just wanted to, yeah. Hello, Toronto! <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, so being the old guy in the group, sometimes I get asked, you know, about advice, but I, I find I'm confused a lot today. Uh, everywhere I go, like it's acronyms and a brief, like you can't even go to Kentucky Fried Chicken anymore, can you? What do they call it now, sir? What do they call it? Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's the KF. You've been there. You've been there, haven't you? Yeah, you had that greasy shit before, haven't you? You liked it, too, and I can tell just by looking at your face you liked that chicken. Yeah, yeah, and I'm thinking about it. I mean, everything is, isn't it? Like I said, I go and I see something, and I go in to see the CFO. What the heck is that? The Chief Financial Officer. And then, of course, I get out with the Googler. You got the Googler with you? How many people got their Googler here? Sir, you got your Googler right there. Grab hold of your Googler. Yeah, there you go. I have his Googler right there. Let go of it, sir. Let go of it. Yeah, yeah, you think about the Googler for a second. I mean, everybody's on the Googler all the time. I know I'm on mine periodically. And, and even with that, even with that, you know, you kind of, what is it with it? It's L-O-L, is that it? L-O-L, is that it? Yeah, L-O-L, did I get that right? L-O-L, L-O-L. And then you got that, w, one of my favorites, W-T-F. You know that one? Sir, you know that one, W-T-F? What's it stand for? Come on, you can say it, sir. Don't be afraid. Go ahead, let it rip. Let it, what's it stand for, sir? Do it. What the fuck? Oh, no, no. Yeah, I'll give him a hand. He got it. So, you know, when I think about it, people often ask me, they say, they say, well, you know, there's a lot of acronyms out there. And you, how, do you, how do you handle it yourself? And I say, well, I kind of come up with this philosophy in life, kind of the, the seeds of life. I kind of look at things as the seeds of life. So I wanted to make up my own thing that I could put on, on, the, on, the, on the device. I could put on my Googler and I could be texting the seeds of life. So what are the seeds of life? Like, what is life all about? Because when you get to my age, those are the kind of questions you get asked, right, sir? Yep. Yeah, see that? See that right there, right? These are the kind of questions young people ask us, you know, what is the meaning of life? So I came up with the seeds of life. Now, the first seed is shopping. Who likes shopping? Where are you? Come on, I know you're up there. Shopping. Yeah, yeah, shopping. Yeah, shopping. Oh, yeah. oh ma'am, I can tell you, you like shopping. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, 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 oh yeah, she's a shopper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing about shopping. When you take shopping, I mean, that's crazy. Where does shopping start? But I mean, I heard this story earlier about one of my colleagues trying to have a baby. Well, shopping starts right there, isn't it? What do you buy? What's the first thing you buy at the Wally's Mart? Diapers. Isn't it diapers? Where are you out there? You're out there. Who's bought diapers at Wally's Mart lately? Right? Come on. Come on. I know you're here. Yes. Yes. No. No, but you're thinking about it. <laughs> and then after a while, when you're finished with the diapers, you go right to the pants. Right, sir? The pants? Yeah, but... Yeah, the pants. The pants. Yes, I know. I know. Don't, don't confess. Do you think about the pants as well? Yeah. Yes, I can tell. Yeah, yeah. Soon she came in. She ran right out, didn't she? That's time for the pants. And the great thing about the pants, you can pee wherever you go. <laughs> it's like freedom all over again. Somebody give me a... Well, I'm actually wearing a pair. <laughs> I might be promoting the pants. You gotta go, sir. You gotta go. That's uh, that beer you're drinking. That'll do it to you. Makes you pee every time you wouldn't mind passing that. Sorry. Anyway. Yeah, so when you think about the first seed in life, the first seed for me was shopping. And after shopping, what do you do after shopping? You go and eat, don't you? You go out for something to eat. Some people already did some shopping today. What are you doing now? Chicken wings. Little chicken wings. Nachos, yes, little nachos, right? So the first thing you do, you finish up, that shopping can be exhausting. 
It can be exhausting. So the scene to life, you start off with a little shopping, then you go out and you do a little eating, a few little nachos. Of course, after you eat a lot, what do you got to do next? Get on that cycle, right? You know what I mean? You gotta get on that cycle, do a little exercise, right? Another one of those seeds of life all through your life. You're wrestling with that whole exercise piece. How's it going for you? Yes, yes, very good. Yes, sir, I can see that. Yes, nicely done. Yes, you're in the same shape by me. You go to gym quite a bit. Rate five, right? You pass rate five. I know what that's like, yes. Why well, take out the membership? You're only driving by. I see where you're going. Yes, yes. Now, my whole cycle thing has been a real experience. You know, it's, you don't have to really get on the bike. You just have to go look at it the garage lots. An entertaining experience. And from there, where do you go? Where do you go after the exercise fails? Well, what's left is usually drugs. <laughs> Isn't it drugs? Yeah, drugs, <laughs> right? Okay, how many people in here are consuming alcoholic beverages? Where are you? Where are you? Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. And of course, for those that don't drink, well, they're on the other drugs, aren't they? Prescription drugs, sir, what are you on? <laughs> sir, what are you on? What prescription are you taking? Oh, you're doing the marijuana thing. You're with the new prime minister, Mr. Trudeau. Yes, the marijuana. What? Now, I don't know if I'm about that whole legalizing thing about marijuana. I think, really, we don't need to really legalize. And I think my position on marijuana is, Let's just do something about the smell. Get some researchers out there. Make the weed smell like muffins. Right? Just imagine that. Your weed smokes. Imagine that, sir. Your dope smells like muffins. I mean, what would people be saying? He got the nicest smell of dope in town. You know what I mean? It's not, we don't have to legalize it. We just have to make it smell better. Right? That's all. Just make it smell better. It smells like, what's it smell like, sir? Weed. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, 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 smell like weed, yes, yes, very good, sir, very good. So from there you're asking, okay, where do you go next? So that's the seeds of life, but the S is missing. Now the last seed of life, of course, after the drugs, and they come in order, you're going to like this one, man, yeah, is sex. <laughs> after everything is said and done, no matter how old you get, you still want sex. Oh yeah, look at me at this age and this top physical condition that I'm in. I still want sex. And you know what the great thing is? I go back one D and I got the Viagra. You know what I mean, sir? Yes? How many pills do you take? Two or three? I'm just on a half of one myself. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. You did it. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, I know it. Back away there. Yes. Yes. Yeah, think about it. I mean, those are sort of the seeds of life. So it sounds silly to say, you know, when you start, when I think about all these different acronyms that were used on LOL and all that kind of stuff, but the next time you're out there, just think about the seeds of life. So I just want to say it one more time. Hello, Toronto! <laughs> Thank you for wearing a lot of looks sexy. You look sexy there, big guy.